Right, I've made these um, step covers for the van. No, I don't know if you can, well you can kind of see it. I've got one for me, one for my mate Sean, Axis UK, give me a follow on YouTube. So, the plan today is I'm going to try and spray them black. Um, I've got some paint, so let's get into it. Right, I'm just going to give it a quick coat with this stuff. It's like rubberized black paint. Hopefully Matt says it is. But we'll see. Safety first and all that. Right, we'll let that go for a bit, see what it looks like, and we'll uh, we'll give it another coat. So in case you're wondering where them steps are going to go, it's going to go along here, around here, and it's going to hide the, uh, the entrance as you walk in. Because as it is now, it looks a bit rubbish. Um, so you've got your king spawn, your flooring, and you've got like an inch, more like two inches actually, two inch gap right across there and around there. So hopefully it makes that look a lot better. Plus um, I've got a cable down, so in theory we're going to do something else as well. But that's a job for another day and uh, time out there. I the resin last night, so it's had a good 18 hours or so to go off. Feels pretty hard to be honest, so let's have a look. dealing with at the minute. Looks alright actually. I'll knock this radio off actually, a bit copyrighted. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try I don't know if you can see that is that any better. If I lift this up oh, so we've had a bit of leakage. See if I can get this off here. This should be interesting. Looks good. Let's just hope it stays that way. Place, which is a good thing. I thought it was going to come off, but it hasn't. So now, um, try and uh, do something else. Just been messing about with it again, and uh, there's a few marks on it where the resin had run, but 
flattened them out and it just needs a little bit of coat of paint so that's where we are at the minute but can you see the blue popping out well, it's kind of hard to see isn't it but hopefully when it's polished it should look all right and once it's lit we're cooking on gas oh yeah right back again but a bit of a mess up shall we say so there's a couple of bits on the paint that were they got a bit of resin on so i flied them off look not too bad so i masked the um the the, the letters up and i've re-sprayed it but as you can see it's a bit crap so I think what I'm going to do is I think I'll sand it all back try and knock the resin out and I'm going to do it again but my mate Axis has got the nice blue sparkles so I think it's time for me to use the pink ones or do you think I should use the pink ones or should I use the blue ones I think it's the blue so I'm gonna to have to let this dry a bit because it's still a bit it's still a bit wet so I'll let it dry and then uh, I'll probably sand it back and see if I can knock the resin out if I can't knock the resin out I don't know if once I've flattened it off it might polish I don't know but we'll see but trial and error these things happen, can't be helped. Hopefully it'll look good in the end though. Right, so after much or scrapio and sandio that's the dealio so now basically I'm back to the start so what I'll do is I'll give it another sand off I'll give it a good clean and I'll get it primed and then when I'm out and about tomorrow I shall get some more paint and I'll give it a coat so hopefully by the time I get in tomorrow night it should be painted ready for resin round two with pink or blue sparkles I don't know yet can't decide right catch you later right round two Right, I'll leave that overnight and then tomorrow hopefully we'll get some more black paint on and once that's dried we can do the resin again. Um. Right, we're here again. I'm going to paint it again. I've, I've got some different paint this time. I've gone for a matte black instead of a like a plasticky, plastic coat kind of paint. So we'll see how this pans out. We'll see how that goes. 
I've mixed my um, resin up ready for round two with some uh, nice blue sparkles in so we'll get it poured and we'll see what the results come out like right here goes Mm, this is the tricky bit. It's really all goes beat down. Shaking like a shitting dog. I think I'll I think I'll leave it like that because if I start touching it, it'll probably shit itself. Pardon me. Right, I'm back again. Well, you've probably seen in the previous clips that um, I had to do it all again. Well, guess what? I had to do it again after that. So this is the third time, and I think I've taken all the um, shuttering, if you like, off. And I think we're just about there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put some LEDs on it and I'm going to sit it in the van and we'll see what it looks like. Right, I mounted the, um, the LEDs on and I've lit it up in blue. Doesn't look too bad. So I'll get it on the van and I'll show you what it looks like. Right, after a little bit of swearing, it's on. So I just need to sort out that wiring in there. I've got an end piece that goes on here and tidy this, this trim up. And then uh, we'll see what it looks like. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually lit up blue when I open the door. It's probably hard to see today because it's quite bright outside and it's actually red hot. Um, but yeah, put a filler piece in here, a little bit at the bottom. It's not the best, but that's to kind of make do with what I had left. Um, so yeah, if I remember later on, I'll come out when it's a bit darker and I'll, uh, I'll open the door and uh, we'll see what it looks like in the dark. But yeah. Another job off the list. Doesn't look too bad. Right, it's a little bit darker than it was during the day, so I'll show you the final results. And that's on with the uh, if the, when you lock the doors the, it goes off and then you open the doors it comes on that kind of thing so turned out alright in the end